suddenly the default arguments aren't really helpful and this purity made it even more of a pain in the neck to do. So let's go ahead and default this to fetch and then change the order. So we're gonna put the things that we know we're probably gonna use as fetch. If you're doing HTTP calls in an app, the more larger your application gets, the more calls you're actually gonna do and nothing's gonna change with fetch, right? You're just gonna use the same library of fetch or Axios or request or whatever. But the function itself kind of knows that. It's like, look, dude, I'm just gonna default to this unless you have a really weird edge use case where you're doing unit tests, where you're trying to pass in a stub, for example. Merely by changing the order, watch what happens. Fetch, we literally have to pass in nothing for ping because it will default to Google and default to the same actual fetch method, fetch module. For here, we don't have to pass anything for the second parameter because it's gonna default to fetch. The only thing we wanna change about how ping operates the URL. So suddenly you can see how parameter order really affects how useful functions are with default arguments. So you really want to put the commonly known things off to the right or static and the unknown or very dynamic pieces of data off to the left. So you can provide default values for them. But if you put them first, that way the only thing people have to pass in is the dynamic data they know at that time. Whereas by default, it doesn't require anything. It just works. It's a very useful function, very flexible. And so that should give you a better understanding of why Parameter order really, really matters for, for default parameters.